thank you very much. Yes, I'm Peter Debney, um, Structured Application Specialist at Oasis Software, part of Arab Digital. I'm also part of the Digital Design Panel here at the iStrat I'm going to explore what is AI, what it is not, and how it can help us as structural engineers. So first of all, artificial intelligence, It what is it? It's a wide range of methods um, used to find answers to complex non-linear problems. Uh, it was originally a quest to model human intelligence computers, which was started right back in the 1950s. Initially focused on symbolic manipulation to emulate thought processes, um, the idea that words and numbers are symbols. Um, now, symbolic AI failed to live up to, to its hype, um, but it did create some highly successful applications that are now often not recognized as AI, um, the AI effect, as they call it. Now, for example, it's not possible to directly solve problems like what is the shortest route between two points? Instead, AI algorithms search for the best route and using a variety of methods. Likewise, searching through unsorted databases is also an AI, most famous of which has now become a verb to Google. Uh, natural language processing uh, is found in many homes and pockets. Now, machine learning passes the speech sounds into words. NLP then groups the words into sentences, breaks it down with grammatical rules, then determines the instructional question. It then will try to find you the answer from the internet, or play you the song you asked for, or possibly a different one. AI also aims to encapsulate knowledge and enable automatic decision making. For example, there's expert systems um, encoding both an expert's knowledge and the way that they solve problems. Or there's state search which builds a tree of possible decisions and then navigates it to find the best answer or the most promising route to it. Uh, we can also build trees uh, from existing data to find correlations between different events and incidents. Uh, we can make this generalized um, by creating a random forest of these trees. Uh, when given a new, new data, each tree then votes on the cause and the most votes wins. Now, random forests have proved very successful in applications such as medical diagnosis. Deep learning neural networks are probably the dominant machine learning method of today. Uh, inspired by how the neurons in the brain connect together, uh, these are trained over thousands of iterations until the, the day they give the right answers. And they are used in a very wide range of applications. We're going to talk about optimization today. Optimization is a form of AI as well, choosing the best answers from a myriad of options. Um, there's actually quite a large number of methods um, you can use, maybe inspired by nature, such as evolution or how life cooperates and so on. Optimization can give you the best topology or shape of your structure, as well as the uh, lightest sections. Now, there's a lot of hype around AI, but let's temper that with a look at what AI is not. For example, AI is not intelligent. Um, I mean, we can look at these diagrams and quickly work out what the categories are. Um, whereas these are, these are difficult for, 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 for machine learning, but even after tens of thousands of training examples, these, these positions, but they might still only manage slightly better than, than guesswork. Um, human intelligence can also see what is suggested. For example, we can see a, a white triangle on the left-hand side. Um, AI can't, generally. But similarly, we can see two giraffes, whereas uh, changing a few crucial pixels can fool a machine learning program into thinking the image is something completely different. AI is also not aware or conscious uh, Deep Blue and AlphaGo both beat their world champions, but neither knew that they or their opponent existed. Artificial consciousness is nowhere in sight as yet, and it is doubtful if it's even possible. Self-aware artificial intelligence is still science fiction. Now, we can recognize ambiguous data, duck or rabbits, but AI accepts everything and gives the results regardless. So. Um, AI is also vulnerable to bias, which tends to come from poor training data. And if AI is to be trusted driving cars, for example, then we need it to function well and safely when the inputs are new or uncertain. There's also common sense. Common sense, which is a knowledge of the world, which is learned from being in the world. Um, 
to understand these questions, for example, you need to have some experience. Now, an AI might recognize the words and how they connect grammatically and so on, but it doesn't understand the meaning. And there are stories of re the created rebelling against the creator. Uh, we've been with this for thousands of years. Now, we humans have never liked feeling control and assumed that any AI would feel the same way. But AI doesn't have emotions or feeling. Uh, to be honest, the world is more at risk from artificial stupidity. So, how might we use AI for design? Um, for example, we can quickly explore more design options. Here, optimization was used to find the best bracing arrangements, then automatically adjust the overall form. Now, this is not the end of design, but this is just the start. Yet we still need all the usual detailed checks. Um, opt optimization and optioneering are going to be key tools to achieve zero carbon. We cannot achieve zero carbon just by planting more trees, but um, by causing le less damage to the environment in the first place. Optimized designs can minimize the amount of carbon that we need to offset. Now, the area I'm most looking forward to is the automated admin assistance. Um, there are already some AI bots that can arrange meetings or answer questions on websites. I want the one which can spot the most important emails and then help me to answer them. AI assistants are now being used on site at the beginning. Um, for example, you can request regular surveys by drones that navigate the site um, and then record point clouds. And the AI will then convert these point clouds into a 3D model, which we can use to check progress and accuracy. But I would definitely not send one to a client meeting. So how can we use AI? How should we use AI? With our eyes open. AI can be like a smart but inexperienced graduate engineer. No common sense, but with promising ideas and boundless energy. We should work with the computers uh, using our own strengths, creativity, experience, understanding, the AI's ability to explore options and automate tasks. And um, I'm happy to take questions now, but I will also say that if you're interested to explore more about how you might use AI on your projects or want to learn about good FEA modeling, explore where structural engineering software is going, uh, my book on computational engineering is being published by the institution uh, this summer and is available for pre-order now. So uh, thank you very much.